What an honor. Casey Jones and Brett Romberg presented me with my jacket. Love those guys. <laughs> Typical Cuban, I had to take two years to show up and get to the podium. <laughs> Keeping to my Cuban roots. Um, you know, to think that my journey in football all started because I thought it'd be a great way to meet girls. Little did I know, I only had to meet one. Yes, me. I love you and thank you for giving me the two greatest gifts in my life, to our, my son Vicente and my daughter Sophia. I love you guys and wish to exceed your expectations every time you think of me. So thank you for that. When I showed up on campus in the summer of 1997, this was no longer the program I grew up watching. We had been stripped of our image. We had been stripped of our integrity as a program. It was then that I realized what my next five years were going to be all about. And that was where my goal and my purpose was to bring this program and do everything I can and work tirelessly and rally my fellow um, teammates to go on that voyage. And did we ever. We put together a squad that gave no surrender, that when you played us, you had to bring your hard hat because it was 60 minutes of pain that was coming your way. And those guys, they would run through walls, and that's what we were all about, getting the job done. I'm the son of Cuban immigrants, and growing up, my parents knew enough English to put food on the table, but not, not enough to know anything that an a in the report, uh, about an A in a report card. That's all they wanted. They didn't accept no Bs, anything less. <laughs> it was a tough task, but they set the bar high for me. And it just, in my mind, it was just easier to get A's and be the best I could be. So all I did was work hard to get A's. So they set the bar pretty high for me. I, could, I wish I could only do the same for, uh, for my kids. So for that, me, my people, I love you. And thank you for teaching me that lesson. And also, me, my, for feeding all of my teammates. <laughs> <laughs> To my sister and my brother, thank you for loving me always and being in my corner. Georgina, your passion for everything you do is something I'm still inspired by. Thank you for teaching me how to bleed green and orange. I love you. Tony, I still remember the voicemails before each game and the times I would pick up the phone and you would tell me, hang up because I need to leave you a voicemail. <laughs> you taught me how to be a leader and continue to be a guiding light in my life. I love you. To my coaches, and God was I fortunate. Alex Mirabal for teaching me how to love this game. Mario Cristobal for teaching me about technique and playing bigger than myself. Art Kiho for teaching me how to love the school and know how to lay my balls on the line. Butch Davis, thank you for being a hard ass. You were tough, but we needed that. And last but not least, Coach Coker, thank you for, for believing in me, and thank you for believing in us, because we believed in you. I want to thank my brothers, my warriors, Brett, Bibla, Shirkle, Bryant, Johnny, Dorsey, Reggie, Santana, Marquise, J. Lou, the list goes on and on. How could I forget my twin brother, Ed Reed? <laughs> and all my teammates. You guys were the reason I worked as hard as I did. Nobody will ever understand what we did to be great. The countless hours in the gym, the back-breaking Saturdays carrying FPNL light poles that me and another teammate of mine drove all the way to Fort Lauderdale to pick up on a Saturday. Those Countless meetings at the tavern at the Grove, those were important. <laughs> and how can we forget the mojito making course we all took at my family's place down in the Keys? Some of us were never the same after that. What do you say about that, Romberg? <laughs> I love you guys, I truly do. I love you guys, I am honored to call you guys my family. I would be remiss if I didn't thank the rest of the family and friends, many of whom are here today. You guys were the support, the backbone of the things I did and why I did them. I knew the only way was out, towards the light. There was no surrender, no, uh, no looking back. Only getting an A in the report card. That's 
what it was all about, and my report card was that field. Lastly, thank you for this incredible honor. It was two years to get up to the podium, but I owe a debt of gratitude to the University of Miami. It afforded me so many opportunities in my life, and it continues to do so each day. Very honored to be up here. Thank you again, and I love you guys. Congratulations. Hope you